The Nevada Gaming Control Board wants to ban Steve Wynn from the very industry that made him an icon. They filed a complaint against him last month. Now he's fighting back. Fox 5's Kylie Gaylor is live here to explain. Never before has a man of Steve Wynn's stature been blacklisted from the gaming industry. And never before has anyone been blacklisted for sexual misconduct. Steve Wynn has been laying low, but his lawyers filed a 25-page motion to the Nevada Gaming Board. Wynn says he shouldn't be banned because he has nothing to do with Wynn Resorts anymore. These are different times. I mean, Me Too has changed the world. Last month, the Nevada Gaming Board filed a complaint against Steve Wynn. They want him banned from the industry. The board investigators found, quote, many instances of unwelcome sexual misconduct. Dozens of women accused Wynn of using his power to harass them, even force employees into sexual relationships. Uh, we have not seen someone at his level in this kind of situation. Michael Green is a history professor at UNLV, and you can't study the history of Las Vegas without gaming. Green told me the gaming board has a different kind of power than the court of law. The agency also has a great deal of power over how the gaming industry is supposed to be treated and perceived. It's partly why they want Wynn out. The board claims Wynn damaged the gaming industry's reputation in Nevada. Wynn's lawyers filed this 25-page complaint this week. Wynn argues he can't possibly pose a threat to the industry because he's no longer part of it. He stepped down as CEO and chairman of Wynn Resorts in January 2018. A month later, he sold all his stock in the company. Wynn said he doesn't have any plans to get back into gaming. If you look at the people who are in the black book, many of them were not convicted of crimes. You know, if I did it, I'd have to run it my way. Like Lefty Rosenthal and Tony Spilatro. If you've seen the movie Casino, you've heard the story of the two mobsters. Can you find someone for what they are accused of doing or what they have done after they have left the industry? Or is it that if they did it or were accused of doing it while they were in the industry, it is still fair game? It's going to be very interesting to see how this unfolds. The state gaming board has to file a response to Wynn's motion by November 27th. Reporting live, Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.